Kia ora and welcome to Extra Time. I'm Andy Burt, as always, joined by Pity Whippu. How are you doing, mate? Not too bad, bro. What about yourself? Good, mate. Good. I'm actually um, just recovering from this weekend of Super Rugby because it's pretty exciting. Some big moments, eh? Hey? Oh, I'll tell you, the footy was uh, pretty good to watch on the weekend. You know, a couple of uh, teams have done some uh, great things. Waratahs and broke the streak. Sunwolves, two in a trot. Long range dropped off. Hagawadis, you know, five in a row. So, mm. you know, teams that you probably wouldn't expect to uh, carry on and do so well. But With 15 teams on. in Super Rugby now, it shows you how competitive it's getting. Eh? Exactly. So, you know, week in, week out, you've got to perform to the best of your abilities. And, you know, obviously the learning as they go and rectifying a few errors that they've made from the previous yeah. weeks. So a lot of great action, a lot of big moments offshore, but let's take a look at some of the New Zealand teams. So kicking off on Friday night, Canes and Crusaders. And this is a pretty special try from the Canes, and it's all about their offloading and build movement, build movement here, isn't it? Well, I built up before this one, you, say, you saw uh, Bodie sort of have yeah. a flick out the back door, and then obviously Jordan's uh, copy the brother. Copy them, yeah. But uh, yeah, having that, that ability to, uh, you know, basically offload yeah. Uh, into the uh, to the person, yeah. not to ground or you know, and being able to uh, those guys to the ball's know, always it. live with the canes, isn't it? Uh, I Do think you know they try and keep it as live as they can. But yeah. um, I, I think some of it's uh, you know boys just reacting really well to each other. And what about this spin at the end there? Blade Thompson for spin, <laughs> like he's on the D floor at Red Square there. <laughs> exactly. And then mate, George Bridge for the Crusaders um, against the Blues. This was just immense skills, wasn't it, in the wet? Yeah, well I guess. A catch and then beating the first uh, defender and then being able to offload good yeah. hands from Maunga yeah. to uh, pluck that one and then the ability to keep the ball in and alive and he mm. just comes through and slides on and uh, takes the meat pie. Yeah, yeah, and that was um, four big players standing up and they all played exactly. a big role in that try, wasn't it? It was a true kind of team try there. Well, you've got three uh, boys that have uh, been in the black squad before, yeah. the all black squad and you know showing their skill set and then uh, you've got a great finisher out, out wide that's uh, come through and you know, taking yeah. the glory. Yeah, you know, he took the glory, right? Taking the glory. <laughs> yeah. uh, and to the Blues, talking about another big name player is SB Dub, and um, he set up this try, didn't he, for Rico Ioane? I'll tell you what, he's been playing awesome the last, you know, these last two games that he's come back from injury, and um, basically beating the, the, the defence line there and then giving the uh, meat pie to... Uh, There's no greediness well, about SB Dub, I, I thought he looked yeah. like he was going to go himself. He could have... Pretty much slid in there uh, and got the, over the over the chalk. The but amount of assists he had, definitely more than try. Yeah, he gave it to Rico, so I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure Rico will be happy with that. Yeah, yeah, he'll be stuck. <laughs> hey, now over to Sydney, and this was where the streak um, got broken, 40 games in O. Um, Waratah's broke it, and here was a defining moment here, which is a red card. Uh, if you want to talk us through this one. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, we get taught to uh, protect yourself up in the air, just in case, you know, sometimes people mm. have... have explosions yeah, uh, yeah. as a defender and take you out and uh, mm. while you're up in the air so obviously you know try and protect your players uh, as much as possible give them techniques to um, protect themselves against uh, yeah. bad judgment calls from uh, defenders and just unfortunate that he's put his foot out. Maybe um, Tavita Nambora had watched Kickboxer the night before or something because that was a real Jean-Claude Van Damme <laughs> <laughs> move wasn't it? Oh, I guess you know a lot of these teams in the, in the back three you know um, mm. One of the main things is to make sure that they can uh, compete with the high ball. So, uh, being able to jump up like that and you know protect yourself in the same time is mm. uh, one thing. But I guess you know you might have just accidentally put it out like that, and yeah. as opposed to I mean, if you went flying in with a knee, yeah, I'm pretty sure they still would have put ping them. But even if he got tackled yeah. in the air, uh, then the guy that would have got uh, that tackled him it. would, have would have got the uh, red card or yellow card. But yeah. I mean, can't take much <coughs> away from the Waratahs. No. Of, uh, well, I guess they've bounced back from last week. Yeah, 41-12 they put on. Exactly. The um, great win, and they head to Hamilton to take on the Chiefs, and that's going to be a huge game. Well, Chiefs are travelling back, so... Yeah. So it's going to be a big game for them for, I guess, recovery-wise, getting yeah. back into uh, the climb, uh, climatising. And maybe they start their own streak, 2-0, from the Australian teams. Could oh, be a new streak. We don't want that. <laughs> we don't <laughs> want that, but you never know. You never know. It's all about the Chiefs. Um, this is a crucial bonus point here. Time up on the clock. 60 odd metres out from the line, and uh, they stood up. Yeah, well, I guess you know you don't want to finish the game uh, just by kicking the ball out. You've got to make sure that uh, you, you, you constantly want to carry on playing. So you play, yeah. it's, it's an 80 minute game. Got to play to the end, and obviously they showed their uh, with their passion and, and, and their play, uh, patience that they, they yeah. can do it. And you know, took them 80 minutes to get yeah. get a try, but uh, at the end there, but you know, 
And at the end of the season, that bonus point, that could be the difference it's crucial. between making the playoffs. So it's, it is. it's massive moments Whether you like that. win or lose, like if you if you're collecting bonus points, it's uh, pretty huge for yeah. for you for you guys, you know, collectively as a team. Absolutely. It could, you know, pretty much tip you over one of the other teams that yeah. doesn't quite they have one more games than you but yeah. haven't could be collected the, difference. the points. So. so that's huge for the Chiefs. And there's also some huge news for someone out there who should be watching. So we had a competition last week to win a Lions v Chiefs match ball, five New Zealand rugby trading cards. Original, eh? Original, original like a plane. We didn't put die on it. That's a match ball. It's the paint from the uh, field. And a jersey of your choice. Chiefs if you want. Now, Pity, you've selected a winner from our competition. Yeah, so the winner is Jared Newby. Uh, so his selections was uh, Brody, Retellick. His first pick for a forward was Brody yep. for the All Blacks. The big guzzer. And mm. then uh, obviously Bodie. He's uh, obviously most Best people. Team. So that obviously would have been your two picks as well for the ABs, those two fellas. Oh, so. I was actually trying to look for a bolter, Bolter, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, obviously you, you have your boys that are always, well, yeah. I wouldn't say always, but uh, who are pretty much uh, guaranteed to have their name sort of I'll tell you out, what, in that whole competition, not many people mentioned Shannon Frizzell there. He was, he was and, a huge bolter, well, exactly. so congratulations so, to him on making the team. I, I think a lot of people might have been a bit dark about Ben missing out, but yeah. I mean, you know, the dynamics of things and what the coaches, coaching staff yeah. want and you know get the best out of is is what that's what they've gone with. Yeah. Um, you know, Ne has come back from injury yeah. and uh, he's they've picked him and obviously they know his skill set yeah. and uh, what he can uh, what he can do. But um, yeah, there's a three three new in, uh, newbies in the team yeah. and yeah. you know especially uh, Jordan Jordan's. But in. those players have missed out as uh, Steve Henson said last year he used fifty odd players, so yeah, they, they'll exactly. they'll probably get a crack at some stage. But look, um, before we finish. 33-man squad has been named. Now you can have your say and pick your very own starting 15 for the All Blacks on allblacks.com. Uh, it's called the Stein Logger Pick Your 15. So head along to allblacks.com, have your say, you can win prizes and step into the shoes of a selector. So have some fun with that, guys. Until next week, we'll see you then.